Hi guys, in this video we're going to be looking at the relative base strength of amines, amines and their relationship with water, and then the reactions of amines before we summarise. So we talk about amines in other videos, and if you've seen those, you'll know that amines act as bases, but the relative base strength of a molecule depends on how readily, so that's how willing the molecule is, if we can use that term, to accept a proton. So that's the bronsted lowry definition of a base. Or we can talk about how easily it's going to donate a pair of electrons, and this is the Lewis definition of a base. We cover these in more detail in our videos on acids and bases. To compare the relative base strength of an amine with ammonia, we have to look at how easily the lone pair of electrons on the nitrogen is donated to other compounds. So in both ammonia, shown here with a nitrogen and three hydrogens, and this amine that has an R group, we're going to have lone pairs of electrons on the nitrogen atoms. These lone pairs of electrons can be donated, and this is what makes both the ammonia and the amine act as a base. Alkyl amines, which are ones with straight chains of carbon attached to the nitrogen, have an effect where the alkyl group releases electrons towards the electronegative nitrogen atom. So the nitrogen is effectively pulling on the electrons in the bond, and the alkyl group is easily donating them towards the nitrogen. This means that the lone pair of electrons on the nitrogen is much more readily donated because it has this extra electron density donated from the alkyl bond. We call this effect, where the alkyl groups are pushing electrons towards the nitrogen, the inductive effect. It means that the electrons on the nitrogen in an alkyl amine are more easily donated than in ammonia because we don't get this effect with hydrogen. So the alkyl amine is a stronger base because it will more readily donate its electrons. This effect is even greater in secondary amines because the effect is amplified and even stronger as we have two alkyl groups which are both pushing electrons towards the nitrogen, making the lone pair on the nitrogen even easier to donate to something else. Finally, we'll look at tertiary amines, and you would expect the basic effect of tertiary amines to be even stronger, as we now have three R groups donating electrons towards the nitrogen. However, tertiary amines are less soluble in water than secondary amines, so this means they're not actually stronger bases, because they don't dissolve in the water as easily. Hey guys! To continue watching this video and unlock hundreds of other super concise, examboard specific A-level chemistry videos, just click the snap revised smiley face here. Join me today and together let's make A-level chemistry a walk in the park.